Hi, I'm Tammy License. I'm the Title IV Part A Program Manager at the Office of Public Instruction. Title IV-A is funding provided under federal legislation for the Elementary Secondary Education Act. It provides funding to schools to increase academic achievement by improving access to a well-rounded education, improving school conditions for safe and healthy learning, and improving the effective use of technology in schools. Montana schools have the flexibility to tailor investments to meet the needs of their unique student populations. Montana schools are all unique, so their Title IV Part A plans will all look different. If you need help with your Title IV Part A plan, you can utilize the OPI's website or reach out to me, the Title IV Part A Program Manager, for help with your individualized plan. We'd like to take a moment to highlight Whitefish School's innovative use of the funds in their music technology program. Hi, my name is Ryder Delaloy. I'm the Curriculum Director for Whitefish School District. So I'm excited to share with you today about our Title IV programming. One of the components of Title IV that we utilize is music tech. But let me backtrack just a little bit to talk about the significance of Title programming for Whitefish Schools. Title programming plays a critical role in supporting the needs of our students across a wide array of areas. That includes behavioral supports, academic supports, and social-emotional supports. In meeting the needs of the whole child, we're able to fulfill our mission, which is allowing every child to fulfill citizenship and to be lifelong learners. Hi, I'm Sky Thorson. I teach music at Whitefish High School and Middle School. This is my 10th year teaching. Um, my second year here at Whitefish. Last year we began a flagship program here at our school district for a music technology program and uh, I had not had a ton of background knowledge uh, in this field so it was a new thing for me but luckily because I'm fairly young uh, I'm already good with computers and I've had I've dabbled in it a little bit myself so it was just a matter of the kids teaching me things and me teaching the kids things and uh, us working together to start this program. Music's a unifier and it helps students to connect in a variety of ways across many fields. So in our music tech classes we find students from all different walks of life. Students are unified in their love of music and the barriers are removed. So no longer does it require eight years of piano or other technical skills, students can leapfrog those and engage in music technology at a very high level in a relatively short amount of time. Helping to bring those together fulfills another key mission of Whitefish Schools, which is the fulfillment of deeper learning. Collaboration, critical thinking, communication, growth mindset, self-directed learning, and academic mastery are all pieces that we value. One can see that in music technology across the board. Hi, my name is Libby Goldhirsch. I'm a senior at Whitefish High School. So last year in my music tech program, I learned a lot about the technology that goes into creating music. And as a listener, it was really interesting to kind of learn that I could do it myself and create something that I would enjoy listening to and that other people would too. My name is Miss Dawn Hashley from Muldown Elementary School in Whitefish. The benefits of being able to use make, uh, music technology, the devices are amazing as far as efficiency. There's so much that we can do in a short amount of time, um, whether it's drill and practice. We also have a chance to use our devices as instruments for volume control. Um, we don't have 30 instruments often, but we are able to supplement with iPads and use xylophones that are controlled with their volume and other types of instruments like that. The kids are able to collaborate and create and use their skills together to make great creations that they can share. And it's just amazing that these days we can share music so quickly, create and, qu and share so quickly. When you think of Beethoven back in the day just trying to write some manuscript to share with his orchestra, and here we've, we can just in a few seconds create something and share it.
Hi, I'm Olivia Lesko. I'm in eighth grade and I'm from My Fish Middle School. I like the fact that you can make music and you don't have to be a professional drummer or guitar player. You can just mess around on an app and then you can make something amazing. So in that little clip, you can hear like piano and drums and all different loops. Um, part of that is like I recorded my own voice into the microphone, and then you play it, and like you can mess around with the um, the like the sound of it and make it higher pitched or deeper or slower or faster, and make awesome sounds. Hi, my name is Logan Drown, and I'm a senior at Whitefish High School. So music tech to me is a way I can express myself. This one I started off with a guitar and I created some chords and started adding a simple melody to it and then I started pitching the guitar up and down and it created completely different sounds. So when it goes low it's super minor and then when I pitched it up a couple octaves it turns happier major. And I started messing with all these different sounds in the same key and using my VST with over 14,000 different sounds, I created something that I didn't know I could ever do. One of the ways that we're preparing our students is through the utilization of Title IV funds in the area of music technology. When one looks at music technology, you can see an emerging field that utilizes digital technology, composition, musical fields, as well as uh, computer science, programming, coding, and so forth. Graphic design elements come into play when you look at the full array of a music tech artist. What we're doing in Whitefish Schools is developing those skills that are required for music technology at a very young age. So we begin in elementary school, we progress to middle school, and we culminate with our high school program. From this scaffolding of skill sets, students are able to create amazing compositions and to feel great passion behind what their love is. My name is Peter Shre, I'm at Muldown School and I'm in fourth grade. I think it's fun because you can do it with friends and just have fun with it. One of the great things is being able to use a device as almost a third party when you have to work with someone. Not everyone is comfortable with that. And to have a device in front of you to work through as an interface, it's just a great thing uh, to be able to work quickly and so creatively with each other. This is real life. This is, this is how people in the music technology industry have learned traditionally. This is, uh, people have learned by shadowing professionals and just kind of figuring it out. They, it's not traditionally something that has been in the classroom until fairly recently. So yeah, this is absolutely the way people learn. I mean, I've got students who are really good at it and they came into this class knowing more than I did and it, when it comes to using like FL Studio or Pro Tools. So it's been really fun because they're teaching me and it's, it's just a fun, I mean there's no, it's not like oh, he doesn't know anything. It's more of a he, oh this is cool, let's learn together, let's enjoy this and it's, it's an appreciation for music in general. 
It's not, the technology part is cool, but the whole purpose behind music technology is because we enjoy music because that's a human quality that we all share. The other aspect of mixing is to uh, listen at various levels. I listen generally at around 90 dB, which is louder than what I'm talking, but I can hear the music, it's fine. I will turn it up to louder, so it's maybe 100 or more dB, and then I'll turn it down so it's very quiet. I also listen in mono because mono will tell you if instruments are getting the, in the way of each other. In other words, if you pan a guitar to one side and you pan the other guitar to the other side and you hear it in stereo, you go, wow, I can hear both guitars. And then you put them together in mono and you go, wow, it only sounds like one guitar. Why is that? Generally, it's due to the arrangement. You know, if you've got a guitar player, and those of you that know guitar, and he's playing a bar G chords or something like that, and the other guy's playing the same thing, they're going to clash and it's going to be difficult. That's when you want to use some equalization and add some treble to one guy and bass to the other. And then you can hear the difference between the guitars. I mean, I've always been a big fan of music. Um, I love hearing that expression. I think it's uh, really individualistic. So I was really excited to create that for myself. I think it's a really beautiful form of self-expression. But this is the, the beauty of the whole program is that I am maybe a few steps ahead of my students right now. Um, but what I envision, like this is me dreaming, is um, students aren't just going to be creating projects for grades. They're not going to be just making a song because Mr. Thorson told them that he, they need to do it. They're going to be going above and beyond. So for everything that this school does, assemblies, the spirit assembly. They're not just going to have background music to a cool video that they made. They're going to create the background music for the video that they made that goes exactly and it is timed perfectly with everything. I'm seeing things like um, at halftime of, for the cheerleaders, at halftime of a basketball game, the music is completely original made by our students. Right now at the middle school, we're doing passing periods, twice a semester passing period music is created by the middle school music tech program. So elevating this to making it not just projects for a grade, but real life, like he, look at what we can do. Uh, I've also had dreams of like uh, the, the school fight song. Let's make a cool electronic version of that so that if the band, for whatever reason, isn't at the basketball game, let's plug that one in. How cool is that? And then at the end they could say, hey, music created by our music tech class. Um, I've just got dreams like that, that, and I know once I, and I'm telling my students that, and they're gonna come up with even bigger dreams and bigger goals, and I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So I just, the, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm.